See what she's got, boy. Oh, he's a light on the helmet. So I can see what I'm doing. Okay. Well, let's give it this before the bucket melts up here. Oh, I can't do that. Do that. Oh. This is a little bit stiff of a cord. Yeah, it's cold though. Okay. Can you see? Yeah, I can see the best thing. That's pretty good, huh? It is really good. <laughs> I don't see anything wrong with that. <laughs> it almost hurt me. It's me smiling. Wait a couple more down. Where? Holy moly. Oh, no. the, the bucket's melted. I mean, it's not the smartest idea, but I did it. So. Want a, a new piece of metal? So this is 23 thousandths wire, which isn't recommended for quarter inch plate. Give it a test. Well, those welds are previous. Okay. You're in the air? Yeah. Do you got your hair your air down? There. I guess it's flammable. All right, let me go somewhere else. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it stinks. Yeah. Depot's on fire. This thing's working good. Yeah, it works great. I think it's time we get rid of this piece because of the problems. I'm like you. Awesome. I can't be any happier. This thing works great. Um, 23 thousandths or 25 thousandths wire is only supposed to be on low and maximum of six. We had it on high and number two. Okay, I've moved that. Um, so if you really want to weld a quarter inch and better, you're supposed to be on high and then go work your way up to six, but with 35 thousandths wire. So we were really pushing the 23 thousandths wire. And, uh, yeah, it worked well. Definitely worked well. He knows more about the adjustments than I do on this one. He dialed it right in. So that's the actual flow meter that came with it. And he said there's absolutely nothing wrong with it. So we'll stick with that rather than the other one he had. Uh, that's his bottle. And we were talking about the length of this hose. The hose is like 15 feet long, and I think the purpose of that hose is if you're running a machine and you're in a shop and you run multiple gases of different styles, it's a, so you can unhook the hose and do it there and still be able to wheel the machine somewhere, you know, up to 15 feet. That's what I think it is, so you don't have to hump the tank on. So this is 75-25 if you're running 90-10 and all the other things. Um, so... But call it good, guys. There's the gun, the brand new gun. I think what I say, $120 we dumped into it. It works like a champ. When we were at the um, 
place looking at the welders. I told them I had a Miller 200. And the guy's exact answer to me was, you're going to die with that machine. Not meaning it's going to kill me. Meaning when I'm dead, it'll still be working. And I believe it. So, and to answer the other question, um, I have new subscribers coming in, which is awesome. Um, I guess for me venturing out, uh, I always was a Miller fan. Um, I just didn't like the direction it went with that 255. I, it's kind of scammy to me. Uh, the 252, I think, is an awesome machine. But the 255, they shortened it down to like here. They went with an inverter. The bottom half is a cart. It just appears to be one piece. And that cart's $400. I just don't like that. I just don't. That's a, and that's the level that he wanted to get into. Um, he actually ordered himself a machine today. It's supposed to be here in two to three days. Well, it's supposed to be at the place in two or three days. We actually ordered it from a place because they were able to match the internet pricing, uh, tax included. So with that, we could deal with somebody local even though they're 20 miles from here. Um, so this way when we get there, if the thing's damaged or whatever it is, we don't have to take it. We don't have to deal with it. Whatever it is, if there's a problem, we can go there and whatever. I'd prefer it. I'd prefer uh, dealing with local people. If you can make friends and uh, build a relationship in case you have to have them repaired, buy new pieces or whatever it is. So with that, guys, I'm out of here. This place filled up with smoke. I gave him a piece of tin as a backer on the bottom of this later on. They have Bondo on it. Yeah. So the old plates are just laying back there. So, we're out of here, guys.